<laughs> this is a uh, very interesting time to be Cuban because I don't know if you heard the news today about Fidel Castro. Yes. Fidel Castro is stepping down. He is stepping down as opposed to last year when he fell down. <laughs> Uh, it's, a, it's a big news item, and uh, you know, when I grew up, my family did not celebrate uh, American holidays like President's Day, but my father was very traditional, and he made us celebrate all the Cuban holidays that he made up. <laughs> so every year we would celebrate Fidel Castro's birthday, and my whole family would gather around the dining room table and ration the meat. <laughs> and then we would go for a long, dangerous raft ride. <laughs> Those were the, those were the days. You know, I, uh, I wanted to get back in touch with my, my Cuban heritage, and uh, I wanted to go back to the, to the old country, where all the Cubans are, Miami. And <laughs> And I finally, made, I finally made a trip there last year, and it was amazing. It was amazing for me, Margaret Gomez, to be in Miami. It was like a homecoming. People started coming up to me, strangers, and making me feel like family. They were all coming out, running out of their houses and saying, you're back, you've returned, you've grown, you're almost a man. <laughs> one type of yoga class I'm not going to take, Born Again Yoga. It's actually Born Again Christian Yoga, which is weird to me, because yoga comes from Hinduism. Hinduism, where if you're born again, you come back as a cute little iguana on a rock, not some asshole in a polyester suit protesting in a abortion clinic. Yeah. But apparently, in the time we live in, it doesn't matter what your religion is, everybody wants to have a nice, firm butt. <laughs> These born-again Christian yoga classes are opening up all over the country. And these teachers are kind of, they're kind of adapting the yoga classes so they don't have anything that could offend Christian sensibilities, born-again Christian sensibilities. You know, any references to Hinduism or nature worship, or inner peace, or breathing. Uh, <laughs> what they want to do in Born Again Yoga is to pluck the third eye out of your fucking head. And um, it's just like yoga. You know, there's a, there's, you know, there's a, there's a uh, resting pose at the end. Uh, regular yoga, it's like this, and then Born Again, it's like this. Um, and then you've got your uh, Born Again mat. you got a regular little Born Again mat that you roll out, it's covered with thorns. Um, <laughs> but it's uh, good for them, these born-again Christians. You know, people say they're not a lot of fun. They want to have fun. They Born-again Christians want everything that sinners enjoy. They've got born-again uh, comics. They've got born-again rock. And I think that someday, why not? Why not let them have born-again porn? I think born-again <laughs> porn would be the shortest porn that's ever been made. Because there wouldn't be much to do, there's just that one married couple in the missionary position, and uh, they'd be very short movies, and probably not very popular. You could rent them at Blockbuster, and uh, probably embarrassing to ask for, uh, excuse me, uh, you got the, the new testicle back there? 